Emotional support's not a service dog. You can't. Okay, well, you know what? I have severe panic attacks, okay? Remember when I have aprophobia, you know that is the fear of people. Oh, little dogs. It's tough. I mean, it's tough. Dogs are obviously like, they're dogs, so they're gonna react, but. Your dog just Wait, tried stop. to attack our service animal. No, my dog is four months old in training. Four months old then he's training. not ready for a non-pet friendly store yet. And that's why not every dog is cut out for a job. Some are just supposed to lay and sleep. If he's okay. still acting out, you need to train him attack, okay? in a pet friendly store. As soon as I walk by, she's like, it's my training for emotional support. And I told her, I was like, emotional support is not a service animal. <laughs> Dang, this is crazy. So to be honest, I don't know a lot about like service animal laws or emotional support animal laws. I feel like obviously service animals are like different than emotional support animals. It kind of makes sense. Like we all very clearly saw that dog having a reaction to the service dog, which like the service dog is obviously trained and like was just chill and doing his little job, like a good little doggy. Um, and the other dog, like sure, maybe it is an emotional support animal and maybe it is still in training, but like it obviously can't act like that because that could seriously inhibit a service dog's ability to do its job. You know what I mean? Uh, I delivered food here yesterday from Chipotle mm -hmm. and you put down that I didn't deliver it to you because I just got fired from my job. This is my only source of income. I do this all day. Now I'm fired from my job because you want your $10 burrito? Are you out of your mind? Who does this? People do this a lot and it's shady as heck. You got me fired. Like, I need the corporate number or something. Because I, I need to be fired. Did you get your food or what? How are you? Hi. I even called my lawyer. He told me I can call the cops because it's theft. Yeah, who does that? Who f your ass? Who raised you? Seriously. It's the trash. That's what you are. Trash. Are you the, are you the manager? Is there a corporate number I can call or something? Because you guys have thieves working here. You have your phone number here. You have thieves working here. Man, that sucks. That is crazy. People do really try and take advantage of this. That's one time I worked at a restaurant um, and we had to ban somebody. They, if they tried to order, like we just would not accept the order because obviously we can't ban them, but we just all knew the name that would come up because every time they would order food and it would get delivered and then they would say that they didn't get it. So then the restaurant had to pay for the refund, which is crazy. Cause like I gave the driver the food, whether or not it got there is not my problem at that point. You know what I mean? Look, look, I have pictures of it on my car. Well, I've been, I've been at my house for 30 minutes. Well, it's not me. Yes, yes, no. it is you. No, yes, it is. Look, me. I picked up the same bread yesterday. No, it's From not your me. house. No. Oh my God. <laughs> it took me so long to figure out what <laughs> they were fighting about, but bread and feeding the birds. Yes, you it's you. Put it here, then. I put it here. Yeah, no, you, must be you had bread here. all over no, the place. You're the only shit. one feeding the birds. You need what? to cut it the no. out. Don't no. touch my company vehicle you're wrong. and pick up the bread. Um, I don't think you're supposed to feed the birds bread. I don't know. That might be not true. So I mean, don't listen to me. I don't know anything about birds, but. I have heard that it um, hurts their little bellies or something like that. Even goose, even geese, <laughs> even geese. We got that on the second take. No worries. Editing. And see, you're in a wheelchair. God can touch you, but you're too bitter to ask him for help. You can walk, all right? Oh, I'm here because I love you. Guy who's like going around screaming at people. We don't love him. All right. Why are you so angry? Why are you saying? Like no there is a reason. Yes. People are going to hell. It's just it's like you're not being in a wheelchair. You're talking about people going to hell. Yes. Yeah. You're going to hell. Say that on him. No, I'm not. Yeah, it's like I'm here because I love you, man. You don't love me, don't love yes, me. I do. Guy in the orange jacket. We love him. Listen, you can have whatever opinions you want, okay? You can have whatever beliefs you want. I respect your beliefs, you know, whatever. Unless they're hateful, then, you know, you can f off. But either way, but what I don't respect is other people who go around trying to just persuade random people into having the same belief system. No, that's not how this works, okay? Also, what beliefs are those? What a weirdo. I don't like this guy. Get the f over! What are you doing? What the f does it look like I'm doing, dumb f Get the f 
it's over before you find out. Oh my god! Listen, motherfucker. I know what I'm allowed to do and what I'm not allowed to do. What you need to do is figure it the fuck out before you start talking shit. Boys, go back. That's so crazy. Oh my god, I can't believe people do that. Please. Go back and look it up. 316. Call police good. Call, call him. Now. Please, 911, right now. You were arrested pursuant to a probable cause warrant for falsely impersonating an officer. Oh dang! What the heck? Oh. Oh my god, so this guy really was pretending to be a police officer. Like, that's insane. Oh my gosh, and that guy knew. At first, I thought the guy in the car was a Karen. Turns out he's a hero. That's wild. My problem is you. Oh. Okay, he's getting a little aggressive. No one's talking to you, bro. No one's talking to you. No one's talking to you. Smiling, No one's talking to you. Okay, yeah, so there's there's a lot of accusations being thrown around here where we just we don't know any of the information. You know what I mean? Look at you're a no one was talking to you. And I'm talking you're, to you. You are crazy. You. I was not talking to no away. one. I, I was not crazy. talking to that person. Yeah. I was talking you to don't nobody. Talk to women that way. Who? This Who? Is me teaching Who was I lesson? talking to? You I'm gonna I'm gonna withhold my judgment off of this 100. I will say uh, I will say one thing. My dude who was on camera most of the time was being very aggressive. So I don't know how this came about, but we have to tone it down a little bit. Like that slam of the car. If I was the guy behind the camera, I would be feeling unsafe. The, you know, is he is this aggression warranted? Is what he's saying warranted? We don't know. We didn't see what happened prior. But yeah, like tone it down a bit, dude. These I said booty short. These are not my booty short. Nope. Next. I don't want none of this shit. This is not for none of this shit. This for none of this shit. Gookie as hell. This is not for ass for. Damn. One simple thing I said. All I wanted was a Pandora chain, the earring, and a fuck. I hope that man kept the receipts and not the girlfriend because what in the world? Imagine. Next. No thanks. This poor band. <laughs> They're just trying to keep vibing out. <laughs> oh no. They tried really hard to just keep the vibe going, but uh, they could not, because people just want to get crazy. It's like the happiest music that they're playing too. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. People are crazy. What were they even fighting about? And then what did they knock over? Looked like there was money on the ground. Was it like the tips for the band? That would be annoying. Why is she still standing here? Why are you standing here? For what? Can you yes. I literally just moved here. Get, the, get that in there. Call the police. Wow. I would love to see this car too. Oh, I'm driving it right now. No, you Why? What's your problem? Go away. No. Can you go? Can you someone get her away from me? No. I mean, they definitely could have just like <laughs> left. But also, somebody like being all aggressive and weird at the airport? Like, did that person work at the airport? And if so, what area of the airport did they work in? I'm just confused. Call the police. Yeah. Why would I call the police? Just get away. Why can't we just get Call them then. Right now. Yeah, get going. Okay, so. Get going. We're so, trying. So what? So go away. If somebody was being weird to me at the airport, like, I don't know, that could be perceived as a major threat to some people. But no, it's just a Karen. <laughs> it's just a Karen, there's no shortage of those, especially at the airport, we're learning. Just give me my change. I got time for it, I ain't got time for it. Honey, I don't have better people. Thank you. Whatever, take your shit and go if you're so pissed off. Oh, everyone's making me angry now. Angry. Oh my money. Hand me my goddamn money in my hand. I didn't throw it to you. Hand me my money. Hand me my money in my hand. Mm. Hand me my goddamn money. You don't throw no money in me. Y'all have your dollar. Hand me my money. 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 Hand me my
and then expecting them to hand you your change after that really kindly and nicely. I don't know, seems like she's just, not even fully, I was gonna say it seems like she's just given the same energy back, but like, she didn't even throw it at you, she just kinda, I mean, it's money, so it like floats. <laughs> me, what do I mean? Okay, maybe it's just the kids. Maybe it's just oh the my kids. God. What? That voice running around. But when you're taking, when you're taking a, a, a broom and banging it purposely on somebody's roof, that's rude. What? First off, excuse she me. The no, that was okay. But until she hears the noise. Is my kids not allowed to have any? You know, you can't out? make a noise complaint. Okay, but you, you but, but you know what though? You can, you can make them no. slow down a bit. All approach you brought and to this door isn't do acceptable. <laughs> yeah, oh, the poor kid, dude. Literally, he's just like, man, I'm just trying to play. That sucks. Yo, her voice though, like that is, it's too bad, but that is too many cigarettes, guys. Like, Jesus, like that was like, eh, like holy moly, lady. Like, calm down on the smokes, you know? What? Record, you are in my office, you have no right to do this. Okay. Record, put it out there. <laughs> Customers have responsibilities. Mm -hmm. When you do not do what you're supposed to do, Including it's not my name. fault. Including Get out of my office. Including Yo, this guy's accent is sick. Fitness Central mm -hmm. does not condone bad behavior. Okay. <laughs> we do not condone bullying, mm -hmm. we do not condone nonsense. Yeah. No, we don't count you as a customer what you because what you are doing is insane. Yo, yo, for real, dude. We do not condone nonsense. We do not condone insanity. Bro, like, even though this guy is losing it right now, he's actually making a lot of sense. Like, sometimes you see these people freak out and, like, there's, like, no, none of the, the things that they're saying add up to logic. But this guy has just, like, had enough. You know, I want to see what happened prior to this because clearly, like, this customer is doing something. Like, this was a freak out. But I feel like, if I had to guess, I feel like this is a warranted freak out. You know, I, I'm just, I'm literally just shooting a shot in the dark there. I don't know, but I feel like it is. Excuse me? What? You call me a pro? How dare you speak to me like that? It wasn't me. I wasn't even talking to you. Are you alright? Listen, respect there yourself. There's kids in this class. Oh. All right? No! <laughs> no, I won't respect myself. I won't. <laughs> Jeez, that, that noise at the end there, man. I mean, okay, if he actually straight up literally like called this lady a prostitute, like I get it. Like I understand why you'd freak out like that, but I don't think that's what was going on. Like I'll be honest, I didn't really fully hear the beginning of the clip. So I don't think that's what was happening. And obviously like, even if you do that, then he's like, hey, like I didn't mean that. Then it's over, you know? It's like, okay, like you're done now. Like the freak out is done. Okay, it's like, oh, sorry about that. Like didn't mean to apologize entirety of the bus. You know, but then she just kept going, dude. She just like, it was just like you started it and the snowball just kept going down the hill, man. Oof. <laughs> oh no, man. Oh no. Oh no. Who am I to say? I was gonna say, I don't think anybody should just be like screaming in public, but who am I to say? You know, whatever. Um, but I do appreciate that he's just having his own moment. He's letting it out. He's not letting it out on anyone else. He's not screaming at somebody else. He's just having his own moment <laughs> personally in a public area. So better than yelling at like an employee or pretending to be a police officer. You're not like him. Be patient. You got a wild Karen at Walmart. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's disrespectful. This kid's okay. Yeah, my kids are listening to all that. Yeah, you guys, I'll never shop in here again. Thank you for that. Oh, fuck you. What the hell is she saying? You know what? Fuck you. Yeah, I think it's so funny that she started off this clip being like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then like five seconds later, she's like, you i'm never coming here again god damn it like literally i do not believe that you were sorry i think that was a fake apology folks if i just had to wager a guess i'm sorry i can't we're closed i need my phone fixed today i can't we're closed we, like i don't have enough time. i can't go without my phone how much you want i'll pay you whatever you want 
What you it's need? Not, it's, it's not about I'll money. pay you extra for your time. It's not about I need my phone. I can't go without it. I... We don't... What kind of phone is it? We don't even have the screen for it. I can't do this tonight. I'm you sorry. You have to do it. I cannot go without my phone. I can't. You have to fix my phone. I can't go without my phone. Okay, okay, well, I think we have bigger issues that if this is an actual cup, for some reason, I was getting, like, I was getting the vibe that this could be fake. I don't know, maybe, maybe that was just me. But if this is an actual clip, then the biggest problem here is that you need to figure out how to live your life without your phone. Like, I understand it is 2022, and it's almost, it is hard to do things without that, you know? Like, you kind of need it to communicate with everybody. Like, your job requires you to have it, all those things. I get that. But if you can't make it, like, 24 hours without it, like, uh, there's a bigger issue afoot. You know what I'm saying? Who's a death tech certified what to do? Go away, you idiots. Goddamn liberal idiots today. Sick of these young people. Goddamn young people. That's what's wrong with this world. Yes, young people are what's wrong with the world. Not the ladies screaming in the Denny's. <laughs> like, also, the lady who like doesn't know how things work, I'm like, yo, we young people have to exist. That's uh, honestly, that's the future. <laughs> and um, the waitress or the server or whatever your preferred term for, you know, a service person is, really, what else are they to do other than <laughs> top up your coffee for you? That's a place you can get free refills on your coffee is Denny's. Most breakfast places, I feel like, I was coming around topping up the coffee and then by the time breakfast is done, you've had like six cups of coffee. Cause they're just so on it, on top of it. You live here and you think your mother would appreciate you doing that to no, other residents? Vince, she didn't do anything. It was her. So now do you live here? Cause you're the one who's screaming like a little baby. Oh, what? Oh my God, okay, she's so just, just a little girl. You wanna have fun. What do you wanna do our practicing? So you don't think we should respect each other? But then you say, I'm not nice, but you're the one who started. Oh my gosh. That was you? So you should say you're sorry, because you don't treat adults like that. Oh my gosh. You don't treat kids like that, lady. Like, holy, I hate you. I hate you, dude. And honestly, the person behind the camera, like, I get that you're filming it, and like, yeah, like, th this is good that you're filming it, but after you're done filming, you gotta get up. You gotta talk to this lady. Like, that's horrible. That's actually horrible. Imagine having that much hatred in your body that you'd go to a bunch of children who are having fun and, like, do that to them. And I get it. Like, okay, kids can be annoying sometimes. Like, I think we, we could all agree on that, right? Maybe they're being a little bit loud but like dude like you cannot approach it like that like that was just absolutely abhorrent man zero respect for that lady from that clip that, that was that was gross this guy from the chiefs game tried to fight a kid and my dad over everyone behind him asking politely for him to sit down during some of the game he pulled out some cards saying he was a deputy sheriff and was allowed to behave what? that way I'm a deputy he sheriff, so I can break the law. Everyone to stand up, even though we had elderly people in our section. Someone like this shouldn't be allowed to protect the community when he flaunts that he's entitled to act that way. Yeah, exactly. Literally, all of those things. Totally. If they, if what they are saying is true, then one thousand percent guys it's a sports game i get it like emotions are heightened right now we're all feeling things we're probably drinking but this is not the answer you know and especially too if you're a deputy and then you know you're pulling out your card being like oh i'm a deputy like you can't do that but i can like who are you? Like, actually, who are you? You know, you're here with me. We're watching this game together. You clearly have had a few brews, just as many as me. So, like, that, I just, that is so, way to take a good situation and turn it bad, you know? It's like, we're supposed to be having fun and you're doing this? Get out. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, mother... Oh my gosh. This is just absolute chaos. <laughs> Like, holy smokes. Why is it always fast food joints? Everyone's always pissed off. People 
people are yelling, world star. There's just a bunch of dudes screaming at each other. People are filming, trying to get selfies. Like, <laughs> this is absolute chaos. The poor employees are just like, man, I really just want to do my job. It's all on the bottom, see? And now you can go to a different store. We will not be serving you anymore. Thank you. Have a good day. You got for what? What? Why are you not serving me? Please pull forward. Why are you not serving me? Get out of my drive-thru. I'm now. just asking you why you're because not serving me. Because every single time we make your drink, it is wrong. Obviously, we cannot satisfy you the first time, and we're done trying. So get out of my drive-thru. You know what? Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of with the employee on this one. Like, I understand that was a bit of a blow-up, and we do not have all the information. But if, if this guy, okay, okay, you know what? There, there are, there are some caveats here. If they were making the drink like abhorrently wrong multiple, multiple times, and he was just saying like, "Hey, you're making it wrong," I get that. But something, something in me, like I got a sixth sense that he is being really particular about things right now like being super like like too picky and these guys have had it and in that case i'm with the employees just like this is a mcdonald's this is not a specialty drink store if you want to get your drink done perfectly you got to go you got to pay up for that you got to go to a gourmet place you know what i'm saying this is mcdonald's it's the drive through get gone right now you know you and your trash and your shit are not gonna stay here go behind sports arena what that's where you go park and Jenny. live I'm not living here. Where are I you living? Okay, you. who's your friend? I'm not telling you who my friend what? is. I'm staying at my friend's house. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Where, I'm where, not where, camping where, here. where, where? None of your business. Get away from my car. You You're in trouble. Fine. Call You're the cops. I'm calling the cops. Call get the cops. away from my car. Dude, and you already know the police. They're going to get on that phone and be like, what is this? Like, we have way bigger fish to fry than whoever this person is on vacation. Like, just, this is stop. Just stop. Why is it that these people wake up in the day and decide, you know how I'm going to spend my day? Ruining other people's days. That's got to be a really sad, really upsetting existence, right? Sucks. Yeah. Nobody because sells I, those. Oh, bullshit. Ma'am, please give me back our property. Oh my god. You guys charge $70 for these fing bottles. What are, are you, you talking crazy? about? Crazy? I know you are, but why am I? People are absolutely insane. Ma'am, what are you talking about? We do not sell those. Those come with a water machine that we have. We only serve water out of them. And you're worried about something that I paid $70 for. That's that's the cap. Uh, you did not pay $70 for that. Yeah, we I don't did. even have, there's no possible way. It, it doesn't exist. Oh, you guys are ridiculous. We're ridiculous? Okay, okay give yeah. me the other bottle. Bye. <laughs> what in the world? Like if you actually paid $70 for it, there's no way that you would be giving it back. You know what I mean? Like, you know? And as a matter of fact, you want to report, I'm going to record you as well, too. Yeah, there's, uh, there's actually a code of conduct when you walk in. It you guys agree matter. to it. You're, you're not filing your code of it conduct. Does. And I'm going to let the manager know 10 mean? minutes early. Uh, you had We're not closed. planning on coming and spending money with you. You actually, with your rudeness, you made it so that nobody wants to buy from you. I didn't say we were closed, ma'am. I just it said you matter. can't <laughs> Oh my god. The entitlement is absolutely insane. Like, that's clearly a person who just hasn't been told no at any point, you know? You don't even tell me not to lean on here. You don't have a sign that yeah, says I can. anything like that. Well, guess I can. what? what because this is it? our business. It's it not your matter. business, ma'am. It's not your business. You're just a little peon that works here. He just told you what the rule is to not lean on the glass, and you're freaking out like this. What a psycho. People like that shouldn't be allowed in public. Like, no, you're banned from the mall now because uh, this is just for shopping and hanging out, not for yelling. Oh, I think I've seen this one before. Of ignorant people like you coming in here talking bad about the mm -hmm. world. That's why you can't get workers. Who wants to sit here and, and listen to some here and talk to it? Let that man work. That man ain't calling me no problems. He's doing the best he can. Yeah. It doesn't matter what I like. I can tell you don't like it. Well, too bad. Go someplace else. Go to Burger King. Have it your way. Have it your way. 
Dude, honestly, yeah, I, I buy with this, man. Like, we all need to see this. Like, he's freaking out, but he's not freaking out to the point where it's so much that, uh, like, it's ridiculous, you know? He's making a lot of sense, right? It's just like, let this man do his job. You think he wants to have to deal with people like you? This is why there's no workers. If you don't like it here, go somewhere else. Go to Burger King, right? It, like, all these things to me, they, they make a lot of sense. We didn't see what it was that she was saying or she was doing before this, but you got to imagine it was super rude. It was probably uncalled for. And the dude, just calling her out on it and frankly she's like yeah like she's standing there you know she's in this defensive position being like yeah i was in the wrong right now she knows it but she's not saying anything right so yeah we all need to hear that dude like literally like all of those things respect i'm not even finished with my drink and she tells me i can't get a refill i never left the premise uh i was in i was i was in i was in a i, ne I was in a parking lot getting out my i was getting out of my but well, i was still Oh man, I'm torn on this one. I don't think anyone should be freaking out about pops. You know? <laughs> oh, I didn't even ask for any question. You pulled up to the thing. And I, but Why I didn't. Come back my drinks. Not, if your drink look, then just go outside and the Look, he's getting a refill, but I can't get one. It's just like, hey, if I worked at a place that had free refills, I probably wouldn't police it this hard. If somebody just walked in off the street, like wasn't just there, but if somebody just like, just had a meal and then I see them leave and then come back in, you know? But also if I left and came back in and they said no refill, I would probably just go, hey, no refill for me today. Hey woman, you need to get off the bus right now! Oh my god. This lady just wants to be everyone's problem. That's really what it comes down to. You know? You are already going to jail. Please stop the bus at a sidewalk. Let us do it enough. So what? So what? Did I have asking for the supervisor to sit down? I think the wife was going to let me off the bus. I don't have a gun. I don't have a gun. She said something about being 60 years old, so she's not taking it from anybody anymore, which, like, you know, I appreciate, I understand, but uh, don't, also, don't be the problem. Just because you're like, hey, I'm not taking anyone's shit anymore, doesn't mean that anyone else has to take your shit either. I'm 25 and I'm not taking anyone's shit anymore. I have a lot of questions about this one, to be honest with you. I need more context. Four more years! Four more years! Oh my gosh. This is all, what is going on? Does it even matter at this point? This was clearly from uh, either 2020 or 2019. So at this point, does it even matter? Minutes for a single sandwich and I'm about to miss a flight. So I appreciate it if you could throw the f cap in your stuff. Does it take that long to put egg and bread together? Why the f did you stop it at Tim Hortons if you're late for your flight? Like, I don't know. I'm not responsible for your dumb decisions, lady. Sorry, I just cursed a bunch, but jeez Louise. So, guys, you don't want to make sandwiches? There's hundreds of billions of places. Why can't you make the sandwiches? Then, uh, why the f are you giving it away and trying it out? I paid for it. That sounds even stupider. Oh my god. Like, there is no way in hell that I would have given that lady her sandwich. If she was talking to me like that, I would have made the sandwich and then threw it on the floor, right in front of her. And like, guess you're gonna miss the flight then, eh? Like, why would you yell at somebody who works at Tim Hortons? Because he's old and sad. Just chill. Even an ice cap's not worth it. If you've had an ice cap, you know they're pretty good. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all, he did that because that was some foul you ain't even had to do that at this. You shut the up. And I'm a whole female, you dumb. You shut the up. Because you shouldn't have done nothing at them, you stupid. They wasn't even doing nothing to you.
I have a lot of thoughts and feelings about this one that I think I'm just gonna keep to myself. <laughs> you know, it's just like, I don't know, man, I don't know. <laughs> Why would you do something after we chip down? I wish I was a so I could punch you in your face. But I'm a female with your dick with that I don't even know who's like, I mean, they're. It's a public freak out you wouldn't believe. <laughs> what? My post. Which post? East post? East post not yours, dude. They're my fence. That post is. That post is not your post. Bullshit. You tied your fence to mine. What the f are you crazy? You must yeah. be smoking that crack, dog, because this all belongs to me, dog. No, it don't. Yes, it does. No, it don't. Yes, it does. No. Yes, it okay. does, bro. All right, so we're and then this. passing the Look argument. This. this fence here is mine. Look where the line is, my friend. No. You can see it. Look at that. It's not tied up to it. You're a freaking moron, dude. You're not tied up hey. to it. Okay, this is the dumbest argument I've ever heard in my entire life. Like, like, who actually cares? You know, who actually cares? And if you hate your neighbor that much, let's just say, if you hate your neighbor that much, he looks to be putting up a fence right now, or it looks like he's building more of an enclosure. Shouldn't that be a good thing? Like, shouldn't you want that? Shouldn't you want to be like, have, have a barrier between you and this guy if you hate him that much? I don't know, it just seems to make sense, you know? I did pay for it, do you want to look? Oh my god. That guy needs to learn how to like talk to human beings. This is proof, god damn it! You're definitely not gonna get your food. Paid for or not, you can't just go in and yell at people like that. Not the people who are supposed to be making the food. Well, it's because you're not giving me food that I paid for. Yes, I did! It's not a good look. It's not a good um, strategy. 